basically we can give a free demonstration right across the board. So big, big welcome everybody. Happy Monday, but most important, happy International Women's Day. So hope you are all spoiled. Hands up who got the cup of tea in bed this morning. And two hands up if you got breakfast in bed this morning. So I know there was a little bit of a mix up today. I had advertised that we were going to go live at one o'clock. I know we got lots of messages, but we clean forgot that our students, so all our online students, they're in what we call the Bloom Rooms. And the Bloom Rooms are like our virtual interactive classrooms where every morning we pop in and we have to chat with them and so on. And then some days we have what we call a guest speaker. And today we had Louise MacDonald. She is a social media extravaganza. She's just absolutely brilliant. And we had her booked for one o'clock today with our module two students. And it clean went out of my mind until later this morning. And I said to Deirdre, God, we booked to do a live class at one o'clock and Louise MacDonald at one o'clock. So we had to postpone the live class to two o'clock. So listen, we're here anyway. And um, probably a lot of you have missed out. You're probably waiting around earlier on, but you don't worry. You can always watch this on the replay again. So big welcome, as I said, and please introduce and let us know where are you watching from. And we might as well get the weather forecast. Absolutely freezing cold in Dublin today. The draft is freeze the ghoulies off you, as they say, and um, but it's not raining, so I suppose that's probably good. So today I have two simple designs and um, planned. So I still have Friday's design here, and um, just to let you see what it opened out like, and you know what it turned out like, and you can see the way the tulips are growing. But just turn it sideways, you see the way some of the tulips are outside the line, and that was sometimes I'd be explaining to you about tulips. Now it looks really well still. But like tulips, if you're ever doing a very formal, structured arrangement, remember that the tulips will continue to grow. So basically, they'll come outside the line. As I said, it didn't really matter with that design. So today, I'm going to do a hat box arrangement, but slightly different to hat boxes that I've done with you before. And again, this is just kind of like a vintage themed box that I have. And I just thought with the day that was in it, International Women's Day, this would be absolutely perfect to demonstrate. And it's just going to take, well, a couple of roses. I have large headed roses. If you're using small headed roses, it'll probably take a little bit more. Now remember, when you join in on the free classes, we expect you to click share. Now most of you know the story at this stage. Who's watching Deirdre? What's yeah, happening? we have a good few people watching in. Um, not our normal Friday morning, uh, yeah. not crowd, but you look at we new people. I know Olga, Olga Cartis is watching in. Hey, she Olga. said she got the bed to herself today. She got the bed to herself. <laughs> Nothing as good as being able to spread your legs out and have the whole bed to yourself. It's absolutely brilliant it is. Um, Bird, uh, Helen is watching it from Kent. She says there's no sun and no wind. It's a bit glum, so much better for seeing you guys. Oh, brilliant. Um, hey, all yeah. happy International Women's Day from Tipperary. And from, oh, Ben Benny is there as well. Hi, um, Jenny, how are you? Okay, so um, for anybody watching, because as I said, we probably have a new crowd different to our normal Friday crowd. We never go live on a Monday. Afternoon, um, at 2 o'clock. No, at 2 o'clock. We're only getting ready to go home, have our lunch and ready to go home. But um, for anybody that maybe is tuned in today, we do have a free step-by-step -step online tutorial that you can download. It is a hat box arrangement, but it's a completely different hat box to what I'm doing with you today. It's probably a more traditional way of doing hat boxes. So maybe if Sinead is watching, um, she'll put the link in the comments below. Does Sinead know we were coming live? I don't know whether Sinead knows that we were coming live at 2 o'clock. We didn't know ourselves. We thought we were coming live at 1 o'clock. But listen, I'm sure she'll tune in at some stage. And if not, we'll post it later on today. So all you have to do is click share, and then you'll be able to download a free step-by-step -step online course that you'll have 30 days access to. So what I'm using today is a large posy dish. Now this is a slightly different posy dish to what I normally use or even to what I post out to our students. These are called square end round dishes. It's like putting the square peg into the round hole, isn't it? So they are circular posy dishes, but there's a square indent into them and they fit a half block of floral foam perfectly, okay? And they're a brilliant container because it fits them perfectly into our hat box that I have today. So it just sits right down into it and there's no sliding around or no moving around. And that's the great thing. Eventually, what you should try and do is build up a selection of containers for yourself. So no matter what item that you pick up, you'll always have a dish that will fit it. So you have the small little posy dishes that fit one sixth of a block of oasis. You have the next size that fit a third of a block of oasis. Then you have the size I'm using today, 
that holds a half a block. And then you have the bull bowl. Do you remember you've seen me using that before? And they also hold a half, um, a half block of floral foam. So this would be a typical block of floral foam. I know I keep calling Oasis. Oasis is the name of the company who makes it. And out of habit, I'm not the only one. Most florists out there, we call it blocks of Oasis. But it's a bit like the way we call our Hoover a Hoover. Even though it's a Dyson or it's a Nilfis, it's just, it's a brand name that we're familiar with and we associate it with floral foam. So floral foam is the proper name. Now, with the particular brand that I have here, the Oasis brand, it's called Max Life. And Max Life is one of the best brands on the market. Well, so Oasis tells us, but in genuinely, I do believe them. It's a brand we use here at the school all the time. We post it out to our students in all their kits. And even if people buy floral foam from us, it's normally the Max Life that we sell. Now, I often talk about when you're soaking floral foam, about using floral food in the water that the foam is soaking. And that way you're getting preservative and flower food into your foam. Now you probably can't see it from where you are, but there's three little holes. That's one, there's the second one, and there's, oh my God, there's the third one there. There's three little holes in this block. And basically it has been injected with floral foam. So there's no need, sorry, not floral foam, floral food. So there's no need to put floral food into the water that your floral foam is absorbing. Now, obviously, it'll be wrote on the box when you buy it, but if you're not too sure, you could always add your flare food into it. Now, normally with the blocks of foam, this one here has like a little mark there at the halfway mark, which is what I'll be using today, but it's also marked out for a third of a block. And you find like most containers that we use in the floral business either hold a third of a block, a half a block, a full block, two thirds of a block, or even a sixth of a block. Now, this is what we call an oasis knife. It's like a little knife you'd have in your drawer at home for chopping up tomatoes or cucumbers. Well, I have one of these at home, you know, for just chopping up something small. But this particular knife is sold by Oasis. It's an Oasis floral knife. And I'll just show you how deadly it is. Basically, you cut down into it. Now, don't worry that you can see the blade doesn't go all the way across the block. But you just basically slice down into it and you do that and then it just breaks in half for you. So what I needed for today's arrangement, as I said, this particular container, it fits a half block of foam perfectly. And then I'm going to sit a second one on top of it. But what you've got to do first is fill up a basin or a bucket of water, fill up your sink if you have to. And normally I would say to you, it takes between 60 and 100 seconds. But with the weather being that little bit colder, the colder the water, the longer it takes. And at the moment I'm finding it's taking nearly two minutes to soak a block of foam. So all you do is drop it down into the bucket of water, basin, container, etc., and let it kind of absorb the water slowly itself. Don't push it down, let it kind of be like go under the water line, and then you know it's immediately soaked. You don't have to take it out of the water immediately. You can leave it there for a couple of hours, even overnight, it'll be absolutely fine. So I have one in the oven already. So here I have my two blocks, or my two half blocks, one on top of the other. I haven't used any joiners or that to join them. I just have them secured together. And then using the wide anchor tape, I've strapped the anchor tape around it, but I've overlapped it to make sure, you know, to be sure, to be sure. And then you'll find that this will slot down, you see, into a container. And I purposely want the foam to come up over the top of the container. Somebody was asking me that today, like, how will you judge how much foam you need? For the amount of flowers I'm putting into this display, I actually don't need a full block of foam. But to get the foam to come up over the container, I had to use it. My other option was, and I did this one of the weeks, where I filled the container with dry foam, and then I put the, the posy dish in on top of it just to get a step up inside it. And again, it's something that you can do as well. There's lots of little tricks. But all these things and ideas will only come with experience. And I know some of my students are kind of like their own placement at the moment in flower shops. And these are the things that you'll see other flowers do and you'll pick up all their tips and tricks that it's nearly impossible to cover them all like on a commercial course. Now I'm just gonna put this aside for a second because I want to include our lids today. And if you've watched me before, including the lids, I've always used, you know, the waxing sticks or the lollipop sticks. And again, one of our um, students, I think it's Tricia Kenny, said that they have these sticks in Mr. Deals, 149, and um, they're like wide lollipop sticks. The ones I'm using are actually wa waxing sticks, but really the lollipop sticks will do the same job. But I'm going to do this one a little bit different today. So I'm going to use some wires. So the wires that you need are 20 gauge wires, and 20 gauge are the heavier wires. 
Now, anybody that purchased the wreath making kit, by the way, they're all gone in the post here today, okay? But included in the wreath making kit that I sent out that I demonstrated last Friday, okay? So these are the wire frames and the real wire and the bunches of wires. The wires that I sent out to you in that kit was a 20 gauge wire, just for yourself. Now, what you're also going to need for today's arrangement is what we call gutter tape. Now, the brand of this gutter tape is called Stemtex because there is a couple of different brands and the Stemtex, in my opinion, is definitely the best one out there. It's the one we give to the students all the time. Comes in a couple of different shades. I'm using the dark green today, which is personally my favourite, but it also comes in a lighter green colour, which would be Deirdre's favourite, and it also comes in white. So what you're going to do is normally I would be showing people to take three, sorry, two wires together, but today I'm going to take three of them together. So I have three 20 gauge wires together. I'm getting the gutter tape, I'm wrapping it around it. Now the gutter tape doesn't feel sticky to your hand, but the heat of your hand and the stretching of it will make it sticky. Now I do have a slow motion video of this in our blog on our website, and we kind of explain as I go along, but it's probably something you need to watch a couple of times. So when you get a chance, go to the blog button on our website, flareschoolireland.com, and then you can look at a slow motion video of me doing this. But basically what I'm doing is I'm stretching the tape, roll the wire, stretch the tape, roll the wire. But watch, my hands move down the wire all the time. Stretch, roll, move down, stretch, roll, move down, and at the end, and just break off the tape. Don't take up your scissors, whatever you do. I'll do, do another one just to make sure. So again, I have three wires here, placing them side by side, catching the tape around the top. There's no back and front to this tape, it's double-sided. And again, it's stretch and roll, stretch and roll, move down, stretch, roll, move down, stretch, roll, move down, stretch, roll, stretch, roll, stretch, roll. And when you get to the end, you just break it off. And normally in a flower shop, we'd recommend to have a couple of these made in advance. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to kind of like fold them over, do you see like that sort of like a, like a goal post basically, I suppose, making like a goal post effect. And then I'm going to do the same with the other one. I'll probably get away with the one, but I'm going to, I just want to make this goal post a bit smaller. But um, I'm going to make two just to be on the safe side, to be sure, to be sure, to be feckin' well sure. So now I just need some sellotape. So sorry for a second if I go off camera. I'm just getting the sellotape dispenser. And what I'm going to do to the inside of the lid, okay, I'm going to press this down. And I'm going to use two or three strips of the sellotape and just sellotape that down flat. I'll hold it up now and I'll show you now what I mean. I'm just using my nail to kind of make like a grip along the sellotape there just to hold it in place. Do you see that sort of effect? And now with the other goal post, I'm going to go the opposite direction. I'm not exactly in the middle here, so I'm just moving that one over to the side. So again, a little bit of sellotape to hold that. And again, two or three little pieces of sellotape to hold the other side of it. There we go. I wanted to do this live so that you could actually see what I was doing. And then I'm just going to put a piece of sellotape crisscross in the center just to hold that in place. Be sure, be sure to be sure, sure to be feckin' well sure, okay? So again, rub the sellotape, slide my nails kind of along it there just to hold it. I may have to cut them a little bit shorter when I go to use them. So that's what it looks like, can you see, on the inside. So can you visualize what I'm going to be doing with this in a few minutes, right? So I'm going to leave that to one side. So then we'll take back up our hat box. Now remember, I need just to click share because I have a plan to use one of these designs on my next display, okay? But if I don't see the shares clicking up there, I won't bother, I'll finish you after the first one. So I have some memory lane roses. These are part of the same batch that I got delivered um, last Friday for this display. Now in this display, I'm using um, a tulip which matches the memory lane roses, absolutely perfect. And I've also used some wax flower, I'm gonna use some wax flower not maybe in this display, but in my second one, if I get a chance. Are they click and share, dear? Oh, they are. They and are. again, if you have afraid. any questions, okay, post your questions in the comments below, and then Deirdre will be able to call them out to me. So I've used the stem stripper like the other day, taking all the, the leaves, you know what I mean? But today I'm going to be cutting all these short. So to be honest, like, you know, I need to worry too much about the stem stripper. So they're nicely blown. And that's what I'm looking for is nicely blown roses. And I'm just going to go along and I'm resting on the edge of the hat box. Can you see like what I'm going to do? And I'm going to go all the way around. Bit of a deja vu here, is there? It is. I'm doing it to match this one. <laughs> this is it. And you know, I haven't done one of these style hat boxes in ages. I know I had one on our online tutorial mm -hmm. hat boxes. 
And again, for anybody that would like to like learn how to make other designs, remember um, when you go to our online, it's like what we call our standalone courses, okay? Just turn that around to you just so you can get the effect. So on our website, flowerschoolirelands.com, we have what we call the standalone courses. And these are for people who want to learn new ideas. Maybe you love dabbling around with flowers already, but you're looking for a couple of ideas, and that's where the standalone courses come. Now, most standalone courses have a couple of courses. So the one I'm giving you free today is just like a little taster. It's not included in any of the standalone courses. It's one we specifically did for Mother's Day, International Women's Day. And I don't know, next week you're talking about maybe having another free oh, course for the next week. Yeah, I suppose it depends on how many shares you get here, exactly. is it? Exactly. Absolutely. So start, click and share. And remember, you can share as many times as you wish. And if you're a member of a group, you know, like, now don't share in the flowery phone group. Should we share that ourselves in the flowery phone group? Or don't share in your bloom room. Shall I do that as well? Share in maybe one of the other groups that you're in. Maybe you're in like a, a mum and toddler group or, I don't know, a buy and sell group or mm. a wedding group or an old folks group or a menopause group. Do you get the idea? Share in one of your other groups, okay? Just something that is, again, targeting a different market for us. Now, I know somebody in a minute here is going to ask me how many roses did I use. Have I think you already have. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I still have this space left. It'll probably be 13. I'm lucky for some. I'm lucky for some. <laughs> I had to get them for another day. They would blow more. Absolutely. I see Maureen McLaughlin from Yellow Rose Flowers. And Johnny Gall is on. Hi, Maureen. How are you? Well, oh, she had a lovely photograph the other day. She won the prize. Do you remember for that company I couldn't pronounce? Um, the skin place, skin oh, task, skin, skin fantastic, skin, yeah, something like that. that yeah. right there. Well, she actually was the winner. Oh, so she... for 11 PR events, so she was the winner, and she posted a gorgeous photograph the other day up on Instagram of her prize, which was lovely. Very so there you go. Said she shared it in her knit and natter group. Lovely, that knit and bitch club. My mother is in one of them clubs, and she calls it the knit and bitch club. So what I have, so there you go. It took thirteen roses. I was hoping it would took twelve. I had the twelve there. Now you can imagine, you could do this for Valentine's Day next year as well. But really, for any occasion, like blown tulips, like that type of tulip. There's one of them really small tulips that don't blow real wide. But you know the way when um you can and you get the big big head of tulips and they blow out fantastic. Imagine a dozen or so tulips going around there. Our tulips are our daffodils are meant to say. Remember one of the weeks, I actually think it came up live on our Facebook page yesterday, the tips for using the daffodils, mm. using the straws, you know the way? So again, you could have a look at that. So next what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of wax flare here behind me. So you can Madison see. says she's shared it to her flower school. Oh, very good. Fair play to you. So that's what we want. It's just basically that we're kind of getting another... Um, Another few people basically that can watch our videos. And again, any of them people in your knit bitch clubs, they can also download the free video for free or for free, <laughs> the free video for free. Um, but also, like if you just want to pass it on, like I just somebody messaged me the other day and her mom is at home and um her mom I think is elderly and but she really enjoys the um the videos and you know the live classes on a Friday. And I said to her, why don't you sign her up to YouTube? You know that way. And if you essentially have new YouTube on your smart TV, I says, put that on. All I'm doing here, by the way, is just put a little bit of wax flare. You see, just kind of going around here and there. And I said, stick on the YouTube channel and then find the our channel, Case Flare School, on YouTube. Stick it on. And she, she'll think that she's on a Friday live. You know, to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So you won't have that was a great idea, you know. Because, again, I know um, another lady down in Sligo who watches us on the YouTube. All oh, right. And um, she... She absolutely enjoys it. She thinks. Yeah, I think they like because I know um, my mother-in-law. She likes to put it onto the television to watch it. Yeah, yeah. You know, last night I was watching the gossips. Were you watching the gossips? I watched some of it. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I did because I couldn't find it on the YouTube channel. And um, I got Ben, my son, and I said, here, will you try and find like, the gossies I wanted to watch who was winning like Stylish Man of the Year, which was obviously James Patrice, and um, Makeup Artist of the Year, which was Mrs. Mrs. Makeup, yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Glam. And um, I call her Mrs. Makeup. And um, she also won Boss Woman of the Year. That's, so right. that's fantastic. She only had a baby last Tuesday. 
So make sure if you're on Instagram, go over and follow her. Like Michelle is amazing, she is. And she's always doing free demonstrations of how to put your makeup on. I do watch her. I obviously don't take it in that well, but I do watch her. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is just with little bits of eucalyptus, I'm just going to work kind of in between my wax flare all the way around. You get an idea now what I'm going to be doing today. As I said, it's a little bit different to the normal hat boxes that you would see around or the normal hat boxes because I said to you I was going to do a hat box you said, oh, for sake, Jeanette, are you not sick of hat boxes and I said oh, there's always something new I can always think of something different to kind of show you and I still have something extra to show you I said yeah. them two bits fall on the floor so that's my exercise class done there now if Wayne is watching he'd be delighted so he said there you go there's another 10 steps and steps done I just see one rose is a little bit marked over here but sure listen don't get that don't, in the camera. Don't show that side. Don't get that in the camera. Now, also, somebody messaged me the other day, or was it up in the group? I can't remember. And somebody was asking her about, again, it was a micro wedding, but they lived near the beach and they wanted to bring the beach theme into our wedding bouquets. And she said, Do you know, have you any idea? And I said, Now I know different parts of the country you can't get seashells. Terms of the Johnny Gold that Nadine Reed had hundreds and thousands yeah. of seashells. So and um, so there we have. So that's a couple of seashells, okay? And what we've done is we've wired them. So basically sticking a 20 gauge wire up through the neck of the seashell and twisting it around on the inside. So these have all been wired already, and I have a little bit of like tape on them to hold them. So again, this is just to be a little bit different. Kind of in between the roses, you see like here and there. Now don't oh, ask me nice. what kind of seashells they are. Haven't got a clue. But I just thought the colour, I've got to cut that one too short. But I just thought the colour of them kind of picked up the theme. Do you see in the box? Yeah. They're did they do well? Did they, they do, do well? In fairness, they, they did. Well. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I just thought it was nice. So I had these little seashells in there. And again, it was just to give that girl an idea. What about including seashells in the wedding bouquet? She sells seashells on the seashore. How many times can you say it? How fast can you say it? <laughs> so that's all it is. So just different shape shells here, shape shells. And um, I'm just sticking them here and there just to give me another texture. And listen, if you hadn't got them, you wouldn't miss them. You just didn't know about them until I showed you. This is a little baby, little skinny one, like a little snail. Mosaic Designs one. is watching in from Texas in the big, USA. Big, big welcome. Big, big welcome. And, and make sure you share our video. Now, just in case anybody's wondering what it's like on top, that's what it looks like on top. And that's where I wanted my lid with my gold post. And yes, I am going to cut these a little bit short. We were, we still take a little bit of wobbly in it's I don't know what I did, but anyway, should we, we work it out. And I'm a bit crooked as well, but should it be grand? Right. So there we go. So a hey, a dog, a tree, a car. Woo! <laughs> Put your hat on. What does your man say? Um, what's your man, can't think of his name? Uh, country, and Western, country and Western singer. We sang it for Michael's funeral. Don't forget your hat. Oh, yeah, oh I yeah, can't yeah, remember. Yeah. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. So there you go. There is your hat box arrangement. A little bit different with a little seashell texture, a little bit of eucalyptus, a little bit of wax flare. And it was supposed to be 12 roses, but it took 13 roses. But um, like any flowers could be used. And again, if anybody had Germany, you could use Germany instead. You could also substitute the flowers. So I hope you enjoyed that very, very simple tutorial. And I have another little idea. Now, the Barry next idea. watching in. She says she's can't believe she caught us live um, from Lubbock in Texas as well, actually. Another one from Texas. Oh, that's the because the other one is after, after sharing it. You see, there you go. So fair play to you. Um, so again, it's the time difference because we're later in the day. Yeah, so we're normally on at 11 o'clock Irish time, okay? So I don't know. It's just after two here. So I don't know what time it is in Texas. Just kind of give you an idea. But normally at 11 o'clock on a Friday morning, that's when we do our live class. But today we're celebrating International Women's Day, which I presume it is in Texas as well. Even if it's not big, big, happy International Women's Day to us in Texas. And we just said we'd pop on for change. This was the display that we did on Friday. So using the same sort of idea, you know, the hamburger theme, that's where we did our hat Hold box. on to your hat. Hold on to your hat. That's the song. Derek Hold Ryan. on to your hat. Derek Ryan. That's exactly <laughs> it. You wouldn't think I'd know that, do you? See, I'm married to a cult here and he makes me listen to all these songs on YouTube in saying that I love Derek Ryan. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Hall is on and it's 6 a.m. in Texas, but Valerie says no, it's 8.30 a.m. in Texas. Okay, so, so maybe, maybe Texas, Texas could be huge. huge. Maybe Texas is a huge, I know it's not called a county, a country. country. Mm, state. State. A state. Yeah. So it's probably huge and maybe you have two different time zones. But listen, you are more than welcome. So I was in the wholesalers um, on Friday. 
I was saying to the class earlier on today, I was like I was doing the supermarket rally, running around the trolley, fecking stuff into, fecking is throwing stuff, by the way, for the Texans, <laughs> fecking stuff into the trolley, whatever. And I seen these little hearts, and I said, God, are they different? You know, I was kind of thinking Mother's Day, International Women's Day, and St. Patrick's Day. Now, I will do this next week, but I'm going to use a completely different theme of what I'm going to do this week, right? So what I have now is about a sixth of a block of oasis. Now, somebody's going to say, she listen, there's nothing to hold the water. So yeah, no, there is nothing to hold the water. But I'll do one in dried, and I'll do one in artificial, and I'll show you different ways of doing it. But just, I have the roses here. And I said, she listen, wouldn't it be nice to do it in fresh flowers, use it as an alternative, like, you know, spring door wreath, like a door decoration to hang on your door. Yes, of course, the flowers are going to die. They're fresh. They'll stay fresh for a couple of days because they're in water. It'll be a bit impossible to water it because you'll be drowned in the door. But listen, if you lived in Ireland, it'll be lashing rain anyway, so it'll be well watered. But the idea is you could always strip it back down again, and you could make this back up then in artificial flowers, which I will show you on um, one of our other lives. And speaking of artificial door decorations, did anybody get the Independent newspaper yesterday? And you know the little supplement magazine that you get on the inside? So one of our past students, I cannot think of her surname, but Carrie is her name, and Sarah is her daughter. They're down in Tralee in County Kerry. Carrie O'Connor, is it? Carrie O'Connor, I think that could be her name. Yeah, yeah could be her name, Carrie O'Connor. She's watching, just let us know. And um, her page is called something and Willow, Holly and Willow. That's right. Holly and Willow, maybe somebody might find a little tag and post in the comments below. But she had a two page feature in the magazine yesterday, and it was doing, now it wasn't these wreaths, okay, they were like the, the twig ring wreaths, and she has an absolutely amazing range of them, and she's posting them, shipping them all over the world, Texas and all she is, so if somebody posts up the link, maybe Carrie, if you're watching, but big congratulations, Carrie, absolutely delighted, I love to see our students in the newspaper, makes us feel famous, so what I have, as I said, is a sixth of a block of foam, and I'm just going to cut the four corners off it, okay? Just it's a little bit too wide. And I'm just going to trim around the top, which isn't really necessary, but if you've watched me before, you know I have a habit of doing that all the time. And what I'm going to do is I want to kind of like slightly over to one side. So without messing the twig up too much, I'm just going to rub it two or three times there, just in that little place there. And what it just did was made like a little indent, you see, underneath. Some people, what they do is they get a knife and they scoop it out. But because the oasis is so soft, I do it with the dried as well. I just rub it and it actually gets the indent and it's the proper shape. Now, what I need is some wires go to taped again. So if you weren't watching at the beginning when I go to taped the wires, now you're going to get action replay. So this is the go to tape, which is double sided. And the brand that we use and I recommend is called Stem Tex. It's double sided. You can use either side. It doesn't feel sticky when you feel it, but the heat of your hands makes it sticky. Now, some florists may have been trained to use the parafilm, which I absolutely hate, you know, that way. And it's kind of like a plastic version of it. And personally, I don't like it. But listen, if you've trained on that and you love it, stick to it. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong. Everybody has their own opinion. I'm using two 20 gauge wires, okay? The last time I used three wires, okay? So this time I have two of them, two 20 gauge taping them together side by side and again the trick is stretch the tape roll move down stretch roll move down stretch roll move down stretch roll move down and eventually you get fast at it when you get to the end you break off the tape you don't take up your scissors i'll just do it again because i think i might need two of them so two wires side by side catch the gutter tape around them Roll and pull, roll and pull, and keep moving down. And the more of an angle that you pull the tape down the wire, the quicker you get down it. It does take a lot of practice. And we normally start our students off on module one doing this. So now what I'm going to do, do some dead set, I'm dropping everything on the floor today, is I'm going to lie the wire across the floral foam, okay? I'm going to turn my heart upside down, okay? I'm going to bring my two pieces of wire together, and Jesus, Jeanette, I think we might need a bit of an extension, so I think I'll do an extension on the next one. So these are barely catching, okay? It'll probably hold, because once I squeeze them together there and just dig them back in, and I'll put a bit of tape over that so that it won't mark the door. Now, I was able to manage, but you know what? It was a tight squeeze to get them two wires gripped together. But I'm going to attempt and do it again rather than have to join a second one on. But you can join a second one on to make it longer. So again, I'm bringing the wire across the top, turn it upside down. 
all our really? American friends, you know, are delighted to see us on live. Oh, brilliant. Actually live. To actually see, live. They actually watch us on the replay. So again, I literally have about less than a centimetre of wire to twist together. And if you're wondering, is it working my hands? It is, yeah, it's working stops my fingers. But I'm twisting them together, and then I'm just going to like buckle it or bend it back down. And you can also put a little bit of tape across that, like the anchor tape, just to stop it um, scratching your door. So that's then your anchor tape, or sorry, your floral foam to one side of your container. Now, just in case if you're late joining in and you might say, well, how's that going to hold water? It's not going to hold water. Do you know that way? As I said, I have done dried versions of these on the roundy ones. Um, I've done dried and silk mixed together. Do you know that way? And people are always asking me about a fresh one. And I just, I have lots of them memory lane roses left over. And I said, sure, listen, I'll do it today just to kind of show you something different. And yes, it's not going to hold water. The water, well, it won't, it'll drip out of it after, for a while while I'm making it. But like once it's hanging on the door, the foam will stay wet for a little while. Now, I would presume the weather in Texas is probably absolutely scorching. Haven't got a clue, but I'm reckoning it is. Where here in Ireland, it rains at least every day, if not every second day. So this will get well get watered. But like I'm using roses that I have in stock. And they wouldn't be the longest lasting flowers. But if you've decided that you were doing this at home and maybe using longer lasting flowers, um, you could take it off the door ever so often and give it another little bit of a watering. I barely want to know, could you use real wire and tape? The only thing about the real wire, it's a little bit thinner. It's only like about a 22, 23 gauge. And I would be afraid that when you pull the real wire, I don't want to do it on this, right? But say even just with a 20 gauge wire, just to show you. If I got the 20 gauge wire and I'm not even putting pressure on the second, on the opposite side of the wire, can you see the way it'll just cut through it like a knife? Now, can you imagine the real wire? Do you know that way? So if you were to use the real wire, it's much thinner. So it's sliced to it like a cheese slicer. So that's why, like say, one 20 gauge wire was probably about three times, two and a half times the thickness of your real wire. And then I put two of them together. So and now I'm four to or five times. Mm, you'd have to try and straighten it. It'd yeah. be a bit of a curse, you know, that sort of way. If you were really, really, really stuck, you could use like a bit of twine, but again, the twine will cut into it. And that's why nobody's probably asked, or maybe somebody has. That's why we put the gush tape on it. The gush tape stops it slicing down into it, you know, that way. So if you were really, really badly stuck, you probably could. But you know yourself, it's much easier to use the right stuff. So again, I'm just going to get a couple of roses. Marsha is watching in from Australia. Hiya, Marsha. Nice. How are you? What time of the day is it over there? I'm just pulling off some of the garage petals off these, which I hadn't pulled off. Mary Ann is watching in from Yorkshire. Yorkshire. The same time as ourselves. Sure. How are you? And what's the weather like in Yorkshire? Are you just getting any rain? Where That's Emmerdale, buy... isn't it? Emmerdale is yeah, Yorkshire, exactly, isn't it? Yeah. Where did you buy the heart? So I got this in the wholesalers. If you're in the trade and if you want to private messages, I can actually, she wants to know it. The wholesalers is called Harold Elms, yeah. but you can obviously only buy from them if you're in the business or if you're in trade. They, they're very strict about serving outside to the trade. And it's Harold Elms in Bluebell, okay? Bluebell Industrial Estate, or Riverdale Industrial Estate in Bluebell. Um, okay, so what I have is a little bit of eucalyptus and a little bit of, and I'm not really prepared today. You know the way normally I'd have the stuff cut up. But as I said, today we, we got a little bit mixed up because we thought we were going to be on like one o'clock. And then we realized that we had um, a live class with Louise McDonald for our students in the Bloom Room. And Louise was after promising to take the time and do this free class with the students, which was absolutely brilliant. Like we're in our academy and we think we know it all. You never know it all. But we thought that we knew it all. And just even listening to us, because we said to Louise, we came on, we introduced her. And then I said, listen, we're going to mute ourselves because we've tons of work to do here behind the scenes, but we'll be listening to you. And it was amazing what we like learned. So you can see there, I'm just starting off with a little bit of greenery, one coming up and one coming down. And just, if you want to call it the sides, kind of like down low there, I'm going to use two very, very short pieces of greenery. Like you've kind of said, God, you know, was it even worth putting these in? Because these are going to be absolutely tiny. Can you see them there? Just tiny little pieces there. And it's really more for a little bit of coverage. And then I'm going to get four more kind of tiny pieces as well. 
And if you want to call it the four corners, you know what I mean? In that kind of like general area, that's where I'm going to put in these pieces. And this is more for coverage and hiding the mechanics, hiding the little bit of floral foam, um, hiding kind of the edge of the twig base, okay? Don't hide the base completely, but they're just kind of shorted pieces in there. And again, I just hold it up there just to give you an idea. And I could probably do with another little bit in there, you know what I mean? Because this side has more of a curve on it. Now again, if you do have any questions, Post your questions in the comments below. We'll try and answer them live because if Deirdre sees them, she'll call the question out. And if we don't see it, we maybe we'll try and answer them later on. Well, they're having sunshine over in London. Christine is watching, is it? watching and it's a soft day in Leitrim. Soft day. Yeah. <laughs> soft day in Leitrim. Yes, Mary O'Hagan is watching it from Leitrim. And Geraldine Kelly's now watching it from Limerick. Brilliant. Big, big welcome, everybody. Now remember to click share. And if you're only joining in now, you probably missed the light. I don't know, can they see that? You probably um, missed, missed yeah. the live demonstration on the hat box arrangement, but you can watch that on replay. You can't rewind it now. But remember to click share, okay? So that's, you know what I mean? That's something that I know my little niece and nephew and Sligo will take me off. Click share, click share. But that's what we want us to do. We'd really appreciate it. So I'm just standing a small little piece of eucalyptus up there in the center. And then I just want a couple more. So I'm just I'm looking for smaller leaves. That's what I'm doing. Somebody's I'm asking, Jeanette, where can yeah. you buy eucalyptus, not wholesale? So most flower shops sell the eucalyptus. You could just go in and buy a branch of them. But you listen, have a look in your neighbor's garden. I bet your neighbor's gardens probably have eucalyptus in it. We were to, hopefully there's nobody watching from y'all in County Cork. But we had, I wouldn't name her now, but we had a student up this morning was telling us that there's absolutely tons of pittosporum and tons of fatsia leaves in Tesco Car Park in y'all. Now I wouldn't be telling anybody no, to go take no. it. But, um, but you listen, and I'm sure the gardeners can work because they're non-essential, so they probably could I'd say that would be essential back. if they needed a little bit of a trim. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, you're on Carmen, the ball there, Deirdre. Carmen Noel wants to know to use dry foam and silk flowers. Absolutely. And one of the weeks, um, obviously you're not a regular, because one of the weeks we actually did one with dry foam and dried flowers and silk flowers, and we will do it again, do you know what I mean? Because I know like we're always getting um, new followers. It could be over on our YouTube channel as well. Actually, sometimes knows, what yeah. Deirdre does is when we do the lives, you often then post them over on the YouTube channel and you can watch them then on the replay. Now again, what I'm just doing here is just a tiny little bit of filling in, a little bit of coverage, but obviously I don't want to put too much in. So that's all I'm going to put in with the eucalyptus. Now I'm going to start on is a little bit of the wax flare. And with the wax flare, I'm going to emphasize the two long ones that I put in at the beginning, right? So I'm getting two long pieces of wax flare and I'm following the outline and just kind of bring one down here and one up the other end and i'll hold this up for you now in a second just to kind of like give you an idea okay i have a lot more to do with it yeah. would it be okay if i move that down lower just it's a bit too yeah, high yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah okay so we'll just push that out of the way because i just kind of find it's um i have my low boots on today <laughs> so i have no i'm up a little bit higher when i have the high heels on so again, I'm just going to follow that outline by bringing another little bit up there, just a little bit shorter. I'll hold this up to you now in two seconds, and I'm bringing another one down here a little bit lower. And I'm just emphasizing, can you see like the curve, you see to one side. Some people kind of might call this a um, crescent, half moon, an arc shape, there's all different names. I'm just basically, it's a bit of a kind of a horizontal with a little bit of a twist to it, kind of brought over to one side of the arrangement, and genuinely, that's what it is. I'm going to pull down there, I pull down my bit of eucalyptus. Somebody wants to know today, where did you get your dress? Where did you get my dress? I buy everything online and there is this crowd up the north and they're called uh, My Sister's Closet and um, they're two lovely sisters, like ourselves here, two lovely sisters we are and um, I bought it from them but it's last year's it is but listen I buy loads of stuff from them I just think they're very reasonably priced now you pay for it in sterling because obviously we're euro you know what I mean? You pay for it in sterling, but their stuff is just that little bit different. Um, and you know, it's one of these dresses, you can get away wearing it in the winter and you can get away in the summer. Now, I don't tie that in the ball, but you can if you want to. Uh, Mary Myers wants to know, oh gosh, how do we see this without the subtitles? Just, uh, okay, up the top of the, the screen, Mary, there's three little dots. See the three little dots? Click on them and it gives you an option. Hide comments or, or hide. Or CC, closed captions. Closed CC. captions, okay. So click on that and that will get rid of them for you. I'm going to hold this up now in a second just to show you what I've done. So I started at the two lengths and as you can see there, I kind of stepped up, stepped up, stepped up, stepped up. And on this end, 
step duck, step duck, step duck, step duck. Yeah, yeah, there you go, go. yeah. And then if I hold it that way there, do you see the way you can kind of see like the line of wax flare going across it? Now what I want to do is I want a little bit of filling in, do you see, at the sides. But again, I'm keeping it small. Now the wax flare is great for this because you get loads of like short little bits which are ideal for kind of the filling in. Now, jib wouldn't be great for this sort of a shape, in case anybody there is thinking of using jib. What would happen? The jib is too, I love jib, but it's too bally and too roundy, and um, you wouldn't get the shape that we're trying to, trying to achieve here today. Now, again, for anybody watching and you're saying, okay, you don't want to hang this on a door, what about using this as a grave arrangement? Now, I am designing it as a door arrangement. But there's nothing to say that this could be used as a grave arrangement, maybe for a loved one for Mother's Day, you know what I mean, and you want to put it yeah. on, on your mum's grave. I think it would be ideal. Uh, Phil and Grace wants to know, will we be doing any face-to-face -face courses soon? We no. are face-to-face. -face, we are face-to-face. You... <laughs> Where would you get such a pretty face like this? <laughs> I'm only joking. No, I reckon it will all be online, you know, that way. And, and to be completely honest, okay, I know when you're watching this as the free live tutorials, you don't get the same, um, like the detail, because obviously we're not zooming in. And the reason we can't zoom in and zoom back out again is Deirdre has three or four cameras there because we're on two Instagram pages, YouTube and Facebook pages at the same time. But when we're doing our online commercial, the professional courses, you will find everything is much closer up. And that you will see it from all different angles. And it was like when I done the go to tape and I said, I'm doing this fast. When I'm actually training the students, we do that all in complete detail, slow motion, from different angles, using my hands from different angles. Deirdre is basically sitting on my shoulder and you literally cannot go wrong. But um, these ones, um, I had a man rang me there a couple of weeks ago. I think actually he signed on to next week's course. And he was saying about, you know what I mean, the, the Friday live classes. And I hope, I hope you respect now what I'm going to say here now. Don't take it up bad. Deirdre's making faces at me. What the heck are you going to say? We direct, and Deirdre, Deirdre agrees with me here now, she doesn't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Our Friday live classes are today, our Monday classes, okay? We're giving you a little taste, okay? And we're in a nice way, we're, we're kind of like a drug dealer, but in a very nice, we're a flower dealer. And what we're doing is we're getting you addicted, okay? So we give you a little bit, you get addicted, and we give you another little bit, and you get addicted, and then you'll eventually, hopefully, come and do the courses. So that wasn't too bad, was no, it, Deirdre? No, no, no. Deirdre was dreading her, she said, what in the name of God is she going to say? <laughs> now, I'm not finished this yet, but just to show you, a little bit of wax flare, a little bit of eucalyptus, and obviously I need a little bit of filling in, at the back there as well, just having a look at that there myself. Yeah, I'm happy enough. No, Mercado says the Sister Scouts has a shop in Dawson Street in town. Is it still there? It was there right across yeah. the road from the Ivy. Um, I didn't realize it was still there, so that's brilliant because well, it's closed as well. Though, probably think. closed at the moment, yeah, probably closed at the moment. But it's a br like I think everything your one models I love, you know, that way. And any of them long cards that you ever see me wearing or the sequins ones and all that, I bought everything, like nearly my whole wardrobe is either bought off the sister's closet or the walk-in wardrobe. That's another brilliant page. And again, I think they're up the north as well, they are. And I just love their stuff. But just to show you, there's one rose, you see set into the center, okay? Maureen said the arrangements are great. The subtitles are driving her mad. Yeah, Maureen, try the three dots at the top and yeah. see if that can work. For Look you. for the three dots up the top. Click because on it's them. on your side, it's not on we our side. We can't control it, you see. Facebook obviously thinks you're a bit thick <laughs> and thinks that you need it in writing as well. And obviously, Facebook can't keep up, keep up with me, so God knows what the subtitles are saying. So it's up to you to try and get rid of it on your end. But the three dots at the top and closed captions could be an option, and um, closed stop subtitles, that sort of thing. Um, Rosemary says, amazing, going to have a go at this. Uh, Redmond says, so again, yeah. you can see I've just brought a rose down. Can you see either end there just to start off? Uh, John Mundrew says, what do you do if you're over addicted? <laughs> <laughs> rehab, <laughs> rehab for you, John. That's what you need, rehab. <laughs> Come back to us again. Mm -hmm. Pat says, I'm addicted, I need my weekly fix. <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying this to you, I was saying to you, it was a fellow who rang up and he was inquiring about the classes. And he was in not laughing when I told him that. And he says, you know what? He says, You're exact that is exactly what has happened. He says, I'm now addicted. You know what I mean? I don't know. He could be watching out at the moment and he's laughing. But then also, I thought this was the funniest part. After we telling him all that, he told me he was a solicitor. 
<laughs> and me says, me telling you I'm a drug ad, a drug pusher up here. <laughs> so again, I'm just bringing three little roses just around our focal point. So just to kind of show you, I'll hold this back up now in a second. As I said, it's kind of, a, it's it's awkward, you know what I mean, for me to try and do oh, it on beautiful. the turntable. And can you see the cup on spots? I... Okay. So you know what the students say, I say, look for your cup on spots. Just move spots. it over that way a little bit. Yeah, yeah. There that's we it. go. Yeah. Look for the cup on spots. Fill in, fill in, fill in. So I definitely get i probably get two roses down there and i get one rose up here and if somebody asked me how many roses did you use don't count them for me i have six in so far okay so i'm on the seventh one now but like it all depends i'm pulling off the guard petals as i go along it all depends on the number or sorry the size of the flower heads you know what i mean that you're uh, working with we need to cut this a bit smaller christine Callahan says totally addicted work is a complete nuisance for interfering um uh, thank you think you just swipe the messages across oh yeah that's actually another option and um, the girl with the comments is swipe the comments to that's write just the one of my little cop on spots down there and can you see up here i'll probably get two here you know that way so as i said it's not going to last for ages you know that way it's just something that's a little bit different and because i only picked up these um Hearts on Friday was Friday afternoon in the wholesalers. They had only got them in. They were on the they were on the shelf, and I was going along like super cal supermarket rally, just throwing the stuff in. Like your woman's having a heart attack with me, you know that way. I wasn't counting the stuff. I just was grabbing shelf loads and throwing into the trolley. I was in a mental rush. I was on Friday, so I'm going to bring one more down here, down near the tail part, and then I'll have one more little cop on spot then just to stick in. I'll just hold that up there that you can see it. And you can all see where I'm going to stick the last one in. A cop on spot? What do you mean by a cop on spot? Oh, is somebody asking that question? Are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, you well, haven't been watching me enough if you don't know what a cop on sure spot is. I'm sure the Americans won't know what it is. Cop on spot is when you see a hole or a gap in the arrangement and you don't keep talking about it. You, you fucking go and do something about it. Do you know what I mean? So you cop on and you do something about it. I'm just pulling some of the petals off this because I want to make this rose a little bit smaller. Smaller. So I'm pulling off the outside petals to make it smaller so I can get it in here just so that I won't be Michelle packed. Ryan is watching in and she says it's beautiful. She's raging. She, I'm in work and can't stay on, but she's looking forward to her session with us on the 26th. That's from Mars Pharmacy. Oh, hiya. How are you? Oh, you'll enjoy it. Oh, wait till you see what we have planned for you. So you are going to make something really, really nice. So just at the very back here, a little bit of, you know, again, cop on, you know, that way, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in. Or another thing I would say to the students, the yellow one in the other bed, and not that the yellow one in the other bed will be looking at the back of this arrangement. Now remember to put a bit of anchor tape over them raw wires there, because you don't want to be scratching um, your door, you know, that way. So just in case, well, if it was any door, I was going to say a wooden door, but like any door could get scratched. So I'm just cutting in between the eucalyptus leaves, could do it with another hand here. And just sticking them in there, just basically as little filler ins, fill in, fill in, fill in, cup on spots, covering my mechanics. A little bit of anchor tape on that, and there you go. There is your alternative door beat. Yeah, you know gorgeous, that? absolutely like, lovely. And do I need another little bit? No, that's perfect. Happy enough? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You give me nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half. Yeah. Nine and a half out of ten. And um, so, Derek Hall says she's Jesus. You you think you knew what you were doing? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> sometimes and that sometimes now do you know that way but when i was doing this on friday it was an idea in the head but hadn't actually done it you know that sort of way and um, i was actually delighted myself you know that way even my son he was over at the weekend and he says god ma'am did you not bring that home he said it's absolutely gorgeous so there are two designs today that's all the memory rolls says, oh my god that lady is great she would hang on the comments are flying in here and uh, she would put you in good form, listen to her beauty, and her work is beautiful. Oh, thanks a million. <laughs> Thank you. Just for Annie, as I said, I'm probably so used to going live on a Friday and everybody knows us. So just for anybody that's new joining us, I'll see. My name is Jeanette and Deirdre is my sister. She's behind the camera getting all the comments and making sure that you're all kind of being able to see me on screen. And every Friday we have a free live class at 11 o'clock Irish time now. And there's always one or two different demonstrations. As I said, that was one of the ones that we did last Friday. And we also done like a eucalyptus door wreath last Friday. We don't normally come live on a Monday and very rarely in the afternoon. But because it's International Women's Day, we did promise that we would come on live and we would do a free um, session. But also to let everybody know that we do have a free course that you can download. So basically, we specialize in online training. And most of our courses are professional courses. So as in professional certificate floristry online programs. 
and each module would be a four week long program. But we also have like little short courses or standalone courses. So just to give you a little taste, and if you're watching, to give you your first lot of drugs, okay? <laughs> we have a free online course that everybody can download. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial how to do a hat box arrangement, like literally from start to finish, completely different to the hat box that I've done with you here today, probably a more traditional way of doing hat boxes. So I don't know, did Sinead get up out of the bed? Did she yes, watch yes, it? Okay. Yeah. Did you get up, Sinead? Um, so Sinead is our other sister, our virtual assistant, and she's over in Inverness in Scotland. And um, she normally posts all the links for us, and she watches out for the spammers as well. Yeah. So Sinead is going to post the link in the comments. So just scroll down through the comments, and you'll it's find the link. She posted a good few times. She posted yeah. a good few times. Just click on it. All you have to do is set up an account, use your email address, a password, and you're straight in, and you have that access to that for 30 days. You can watch it on your phone, your iPad, or your laptop. And if you do copy the half box arrangement, I'll give you all the details. We'd absolutely love if you posted a photograph of it over on the Flurry Fun Group. So the Flurry Fun Group is called Kay's Flurry Fun Group. Maybe Sinead might put a link for that. And it's basically, it's a fun group because it's mostly professional commercial courses that we do with our students. And they all have their own bloom rooms, their own virtual interactive classrooms. But like for anybody that's maybe not one of our students, we don't leave you out. We have the Flurry Fun Group. So you're more than welcome to join that group and feel free to post anything you want. Um, it's not like a classroom page, but again, if you want any tips or that, you can always ask among your fellow comrades. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember, our website address is flowerschoolireland.com and our YouTube channel is Case Flower School. We have lots and lots of extra free tutorials. And for any of the newbies that joined us today and you'd like to see some of the other ones or you'd like to go back to last Friday, is you can go to the YouTube channel. But that one is still pinned to the top of our Facebook page. Yeah. And on our Instagram pages, it's in the IGTV. And if you ever make any arrangements and you post the photographs on Instagram, tag us, because we'll all share you. So we better go, because we I think it's lunchtime. I'm starving. <laughs> Good job. I'm fading away to a baby elephant. Here I am. <laughs> so listen, um, love yous and leave yous. Have a fabulous International Women's Day. And hopefully we might see some of yous this coming Friday for some more free classes at 11 o'clock. Bye-bye. Farewell. See you all.